Robert Britton, you're in the breakaway today, today with a Danish guy, Kasper Eskren. What do you think of the Danish guy in the breakaway? Oh, he was a motor. It was, yeah, you could tell he's for sure the strongest guy there. And um, yeah, I guess going into two to go, it was just like I was, yeah, I'd had enough, and I was hoping I could get over the climb before uh, Woodsy caught us, but it's just not quite there, and got caught with a uh, can't have to go. But yeah, he's solid. It seemed like a really, really hot race out there today. Try to put a few words on the race today. Oh, yeah. I mean, um, I think what it was touted to be is what it turned out to be. It was like the hardest world championships like in memory, really. Like, I can't think of a harder one, I mean, from watching. But yeah, uh, and just being out there, it's just, it just wore on you all day. Like that climb just added up over and over again. And then as if that wasn't enough, the uh, that finishing climb was something special like and it really you could see it separated like you had to the best guys in the world had to be on a good day to you know go over that and have good legs so yeah it was just insane you said that uh, Eskren was really really strong could you feel that immediately or was it on the on the next climbs or what do you think uh you could see it early on uh he was mo he was like he was strong but he was also like very motivated and like kind of showing that like he was for sure the strongest guy there, um, so you try to like play off that the best you can. But if he's the strongest, he's the strongest, and that's that. So yeah. What was your plan of being a part of the breakaway today? Uh, I really just wanted to make it deeper into the race and try to help Mike. So I was a bit disappointed that I couldn't do more or really anything for him at the end there when they came by. They were just going with such a head of steam. So yeah, that was the plan, but came up a bit short. But that's life. And uh, Mike is ending on the podium and, and get the bronze medal. Um, have you seen him in the preparation up to, uh, to to the World Championships and how good has he has been? Yeah, I mean, like we saw at the uh, you know the Vuelta, he won a stage there. He was uh, you could see he's getting stronger and stronger as the race went on. And then just doing some training with him here the last few days. Um, Mike's like any champion, you know. You see, once they're confident, uh, they become very very. Like powerful, and that's like with him. The more confident he gets, it's like you can really like feed off that, and like it gives you confidence to do something special too. Thank you. Yeah.